Thank you, Mr. Chair. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to CARICOM on its 50th anniversary. Over the past five decades, CARICOM has achieved remarkable progress across the four pillars, namely economic integration, human and social development, foreign policy coordination, and security cooperation. As a beacon of regional integration, CARICOM has inspired regions worldwide, including Korea, with its unity and harmony. Excellencies and distinguished delegates, CARICOM has been a steadfast friend to Korea over the decades. Support from the international community, including Caribbean countries, played a significant role in Korea's transformation from the ruins of war into an economic powerhouse, now ranking as the world's 10th largest economy. Korea wishes to give back to the international community what it has received thus far. We are more eager than ever to share the knowledge and experiences we have gained during our own development process. Over the 50 years of CARICOM's integration process, Korea has stood as a tr trustworthy partner for CARICOM, sharing common values such as democracy and market economy. My presence here today and our ongoing efforts to strengthen ties with CARICOM are not merely symbolic and one-time event. We are fully committed to building long-term and sustainable cooperation. Korea will deepen cooperation in areas such as climate change, marine environment, food security, and renewable energy, both in public and private sectors in the years ahead. To demonstrate our unwavering commitments to CARICOM, I am pleased to announce that we will increase our contribution to the Korea CARICOM Cooperation Fund fivefold next year. Before concluding, <laughs> before concluding, I would like to once again congratulate CARICOM on its 50th anniversary. Korea looks forward to forging a brighter future together with CARICOM for the next five, 50 years and beyond. Thank you.